U.S. Senate this November. Eric Brakey knows what it's like to be the underdog in a political race. He first made a name for himself four years ago when he took on an incumbent state senator from Auburn and won. The young face in the state Senate championed changes to Maine's welfare system and helped pass a concealed carry law. Now, Brakey is setting his sights on representing Maine in the United States Senate. Big government keeps growing bigger. The big special interests keep lining up at the taxpayer trough. Uh, and Washington, D.C. keeps stealing from us. Brakey's small government ideas face a big obstacle on Election Day. This 30-year-old is trying to unseat Senator Angus King. Brakey, whose real-world work experience doesn't extend far beyond his family's business, admits this race is a mismatch of experience. But, he says King has the wrong experience. I mean, Angus King has a lot of experience racking up trillions of dollars in debt. Angus King has a lot of experience eroding our Second Amendment rights, our constitutional liberties. He has a lot of experience taking our taxpayer money and handing it out to well-connected special interests in Washington, D.C. The Brakey campaign has put out some provocative material in an effort to try to gain ground on the incumbent. This online video uses part of the infamous Daisy ad President Johnson ran against Barry Goldwater in 1964. It seems like the only thing that will make Angus King, Chuck Schumer, and Nancy Pelosi happy is if America gets nuked. I stand by that exactly. Now, I don't think that they literally want to see America nuke, but I think that they are so focused on doing everything they can to, to sabotage and hope for Donald Trump to fail when he is engaging diplomatically with countries like North Korea, countries like Russia. Brakey knows President Trump plays a major role in these midterm elections. He didn't always support Trump during the 2016 campaign, but he now calls Trump the best president of his lifetime. We asked Brakey about the ongoing inquiries surrounding the president that have already resulted in the convictions of several Trump associates. It's impossible for me to look at, at what is playing out with these investigations and not see it as anything but a partisan witch hunt. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.